everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Meprotoline. Its brand name is Lodiomil. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So Meprotoline is classified as a tetracyclic antidepressant. It selectively inhibits the reuptake of norepinephrine into the presynaptic neuron. In terms of indications for use, meprotoline is indicated to be used in the treatment of mixed anxiety and depressive disorder. This medication can be used to treat the depressed phase in bipolar disorder. And it can also be used to treat dysthymia. Now before somebody was to use meprotoline, there are some contraindications that they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. This medication cannot be used within 14 days of a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. It can't be given to patients in the acute recovery phase following a myocardial infarction or heart attack. And it also can't be used in patients who have a history of seizure disorder or are at risk for a seizure. Now in terms of precautions, it should be noted that sometimes depression can worsen during the first few months of therapy and sometimes this can even result in suicidal ideation or behavior. This is more prevalent in children or adolescents. Bipolar patients who use this medication in the depressed phase may be putting themselves at an increased risk for a mixed or manic episode. Co-administration with rapidly tapered benzodiazepines may put patients at an increased risk of experiencing a seizure. Patients who have hyperthyroidism who use this medication or are taking thyroid medications with meprotoline may put themselves at an increased risk of experiencing cardiovascular toxicity. During elective surgeries, there's a risk of this medication interacting with anesthetics. And lastly, this medication should be used cautiously in patients who have urinary retention due to the anticholinergic effects of meprotoline. Once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use meprotoline, they can expect to receive their dose orally, as it is available as a tablet. So for outpatients using this medication to treat mixed anxiety and depressive disorder, they would typically use 75 milligrams a day, divided in two or three doses for about two weeks. Then they can increase their dose in increments of 25 milligrams up to a maximum dose of 225 milligrams daily, given as a single or divided doses. For inpatients using meprotoline, they would typically start off on a higher dose, that being 100 to 150 milligrams daily, given in divided doses. And then again, they can increase their dose in increments of 25 milligrams up to a maximum dose of 225 milligrams daily. The usual maintenance dose is typically 75 to 150 milligrams given as a single or divided doses. Now as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using meprotoline, so I'll go over some of those here now. About 6% of patients may experience constipation, and up to 22% may experience dry mouth. Dizziness happens about 8% of the time, and about 6% of patients may have a feeling of nervousness. 16% of patients may experience somnolence. And blurred vision can happen between 4 and 12% of the time. Now some more rare but serious side effects would be a myocardial infarction or heart attack, syncope or fainting, worsening of depression, mania, or jaundice. That's all we're going to talk about today with meprotoline. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.